sorting is a very common thing we do in uh, computers. Uh, I, I don't know many of applications that don't do some sort of sorting or even searching algorithm. So we're going to show you the basics here today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, short list of uh, integers. We'll say there are 10. And I'll give them initials. And I'm going to put them out of order, deliberately. And I'll just create a bunch here. And Six, seven, eight, nine, ten numbers. So they're initialized. So what I want to do is I want to sort that array. Right now they're they're badly out of order. All right. Well, to do that, uh, I'm going to have to do what's called a bubble sort. And the bubble sort basically works like this. So uh, while uh, while through the list and exchanged some numbers. The list is out of sort. Okay. If I go through the list without exchanging So that's kind of the philosophy I'm going on. So I'm going to write this a little bit out of order, so don't be worried about that. Just go back and look at the finished code. The very first thing I want to do is I want to go through the list and I want to make a single pass through the list. That is done with a for loop. So I say for, I'm going to declare a loop variant called index. I'm going to set it to zero. That's the start of the list. And I'm going to go until the list is less than uh, 9. Now normally I would say less than 10, but I really want to stop one before the end because what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the current location plus one. So the last time I go through the list I'm going to be looking at the, the last digit and then the one right next to it. So I want this number to be one less than the, the number that's in the list itself. And then index plus plus. Alright, so let's end this loop. And inside this loop we're going to want to do some stuff. Alright, uh, first thing I want to do is I want to ask a question. Okay, if the uh, array of where I'm at right now, index, is less than, or on to greater than, excuse me, the one that's right next to it, Then I want to do an exchange. This is an ascending sort. If it was descending, the greater than would be less than. Now, if this is true, I want to swap the values of index and index plus one. All right, to do that, I need a temporary place to put one of the values. So I created one right there. So I'm going to say temp is equal to array sub index. Now that I've stored that off, I can put one in its place. Equal to array index plus one. And now I can give the index plus one the temp value. I'll do one more thing here, and I'm going to set things up to uh, make the whole list. I have to set a flag that tells me if I've actually executed this code that did the swap. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to declare a boolean value called swap. And I'm going to set it to true to initialize it. And that will allow me to get into the uh, for, for a while loop that I'm going to do just in a minute. Here I say swap. Excuse my typing. <clears throat> this is the for loop and it works once. This will actually go through the list once and it will exchange any adjacent pairs that are out of order next to each other. However, it only goes through the loop once. 
I need to continue doing all of this code until no exchanges have been made. So I've kind of got it set it up, but let me go ahead and just finish it. So I'm going to say while, while, swapped, or I'm going to even say while swapped equal true. Either one, doesn't matter. I like this one right here. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is set swapped equal to false. Okay. What will happen here is when it starts in the for loop, the swapped variable will be set to false and will only be reset if this code right here is executed. If it goes through the entire for loop and no exchanges are made, then the list is sorted and I can stop. All right, let me close off the while loop right there. Now, if I run a program like this, it'll sort it, but I won't see the output. So let me just go ahead and run a little for loop to print out the results, and I'll use the same type of uh, for loop I had at the top. This time I want to see less than 10. I want to see all the lists. See out for a index and a Save it, build it, it succeeded, let me start it, and here's the list, and you can see the list is sorted, 1, 9, 9, 10, 16, 23, 23, 24, 400. So, uh, there's the list, uh, it was sorted, and that's how it works. This is called a bubble sort. And it's a bubble sort because what happens is the numbers bubble their way up to the top. Take a snapshot of that. The, uh, this is the basis for the algorithm right here. This, uh, this code right there. Hope that helps you.